What is going on guys? It is gonna be your most favorite person in the world, Derek, coming back at you with another video. Today, I am gonna be showing you guys how to edit HDR pictures, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take a picture that looks like this, and turn it into a picture that looks like this. Now first, I'm gonna have to pretense this video by saying this was not supposed to be a photography editing video. I originally wanted to make a Counter-Strike montage video, but I did run into one problem when I was recording that video. Oh my God. I am terrible at Counter-Strike. So here we are. I am gonna be showing you guys today the how and the what of HDR photography. Now, what the heck is HDR photography? What am I talking about? HDR stands for a high dynamic range photo. Now still, I, I know you're asking, what does that mean? Now, it, I could do a whole video pretensing what an HDR photo is and where it comes from and the origins of it, but all we really need to know for this video is that an HDR picture is the perfectly exposed picture. So if you have multiple different pictures of the same thing, but different parts of the pictures are exposed at different levels and you like different parts of the pictures more than others, then you can merge a whole bunch of different pictures and put them together so that you have the perfect picture. Now, I can already hear you guys through the camera. Derek, Derek. That was just a whole bunch of words. I did not understand a word of that. I already know. When it comes to things like this, I can really only show you how to do it. So let's hop right into Lightroom. So guys, here we are. I'm in Lightroom. So as you can see, each picture here isn't really the best picture. Each one has its good parts of it, but each one itself isn't great. So as you can see in the first picture, the shadows in this picture or the dark spots are perfectly exposed. You know, the bottom parts of this boat right here, the top parts of these leaves, that part I really like, but the mid-tones, these parts of the trees right here and the um, highlights, the sky up here and the part up here down by the reflection down by the water, that is not good at all. The mid-tones are getting washed out right here and the sky is getting absolutely just clipped out right here. We're losing all that information. So then moving on to the second picture, this one being at a 0.5 second exposure time, the other one being at a three second exposure time. This one, as you can see, the mid-tones or the trees in the background here are perfectly exposed. These look really good, but the shadows, those are too dark. I'm kind of clipping a little bit down here and the sky, I'm still am clipping a little bit right there. So I have a third picture. This one is at a 10th of a second exposure time. And this one, the sky is perfectly exposed. So the reflection in the sky is also perfectly exposed, but everything else in this picture is too dark. So every, each one of these pictures has a good element to it, but each one it, itself alone isn't very good. So what we're gonna do, what HDR photography really is, is we're gonna take all three of these pictures together and we're gonna merge them all into one picture. You guys might be thinking, Derek, that's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna have to mask out all the trees in the sky. I'm gonna have to layer them on top of each other. That's gonna be an absolute nightmare. But I'm here to tell you guys, Lightroom has made it so, so, so easy for us. The computer does all the work for you. All I'm gonna have to do is shift click all of my pictures that I'm gonna to wanna to merge together. So I have them all selected down here. I'm gonna right click on them and we're gonna go up to photo merge up here. Now there's different kinds of photo merge, HDR panorama and HDR panorama. All we're gonna to want to do for this type of picture is HDR. So we're gonna click on that right there and it's gonna load up a nice little preview for us. As you can see, that's already looking so much better. So let me explain these settings over here. Auto align, that is what's gonna be aligning the three different pictures for you. So if you have, if your hands are shaky, um, or if your tripod moved a little bit and the pictures are just a little bit off, that is gonna align the three pictures for you. That is gonna be your lifesaver. Always gonna wanna have that one clicked on. Auto settings, that is also gonna be your lifesaver. That is just gonna auto expose the picture, turn down the highlights, turn off the shadows, do all that good stuff for you. Now you are gonna wanna come in afterwards and change up those a little bit, but for the main part, it's gonna have the chunk of the work all done for you. Now, de-ghost, I have de-ghost right here. What is that? Let's say I was taking a picture down in the city 
um, in HDR pictures, so I take three different pictures, but there's people walking in the picture. When we line up the three pictures, obviously we're gonna have the same person three different times because they're walking in the picture. So, the ghost is gonna help out and it's gonna take out all of the movement between the three pictures together and it's gonna kinda just take it out and make the picture look nicer. So, I don't really have that many moving objects in this picture unless maybe the um, leaves in the top moving by the winds. So, I'm just gonna set it to a low de-ghost amount. Let's say I was taking a picture in the city where we have a lot of people or a lot of things moving. I'm gonna wanna click that one up to high, but I'm just gonna wanna have it to low here for now. I have everything done, so we're just going to click merge, and the computer is going to do the work for us. You can see up in the top corner, it's creating the HDR image, and when it's done, it should pop out right here with our perfect HDR image. Here we are, we can view that, and bam, as you can already see, this picture is looking so much better than before. We have our three different elements in each picture all put into one. I have my um, highlights, the sky. Um, put into that picture. I have my mid-tones and I have my shadows all perfectly exposed into the one picture. Some might say, oh, let's be done. But for me, I want to keep going and I want to make this picture look even better. So, so guys, it does look like, unfortunately, this video is coming out to be a little bit long. So if you guys want to see the rest of this video, you want to see a part two, make sure you guys like and subscribe and we will get that out right to you. Make sure you like and subscribe for part two. Now, after we finish our color grading right there, we finish our balance, that is gonna just about wrap up our picture. And this is our final product that we have. You can go on, file, export that bad boy up and send it on around, print it out, do whatever you want with it. That is the fun part about photography. Now, that's gonna just about wrap up this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something about HDR photography. You wanna go out, take some pictures. That would be amazing. Now, all the best. It is gonna be your most favorite person in the entire world, Derek.